my answer always is if as a physician you are convinced that arni is a game changer arni is a molecule which is going to help the patients to reduce his symptoms and improve his longevity of life and it's only when you push the arni to the biggest possible dose you get the biggest benefits so i personally believe if physician is well convinced about the molecule the benefits of molecule and incremental benefits of higher dose you will be able to push the dose number 1 number 2 you have to check that arni has two three adverse effect in terms of hypotension hyperkalemia maybe initially some reduction in egfr so you need to rule out other things in terms of what is the egfr to start with what is the blood pressure if blood pressure is more than 100 mm of mercury systolic egfr is more than 30 and potassium is less than 5.5 you can always keep on building the dose of arni once the dose of 50 mg twice a day in some patients where i consider blood pressure is not that good i might give 50 mg half twice a day and slowly at the end of 7 to 10 days depending upon the condition of patients push the dose to create a space for army we need to remove all those drugs which are causing unnecessary reduction in blood pressure say for example a patient of hefref might be on calcium channel blockers get them out a patient of hefref initially might be on certain drugs like isosorbid dinitrate hydrolyzing get them out a patient may be quite dehydrated on a very high dose of diuretics so adjust the dose of diuretics check the hydration status if we can create such a milieu where all these less effective drugs which are causing hypotension are off the dose of diuretic is well adjusted patient is well motivated about symptoms of postural hypotension i am pretty sure in 90% of patients you will be able to start at least the beginning dose of arni now once a patient starts taking arni and all those other drugs which affect the blood pressure are off one beautiful thing happens many patients where you are a fear that patient will reduce their blood pressure actually when they come to you in follow up their blood pressure will be improved and this is the effect of improving status of heart failure when a patient's lv and diastolic pressures is optimized when patient's preload and afterload is optimized heart starts performing better and that's where even blood pressure improves so never keep a patient devoid of arni because of just fear of having hypotension second important point at this stage i would like to talk is don't get worried about just the figures of blood pressure a patient might have a blood pressure of 95 mm of mercury and might not have any symptoms of hypotension no postural dizziness and giddiness no reduced urine output no increase in creatinine no asthenia or fatigue these are the patients who are doing good at a blood pressure of 95 mg of mercury and then you did not bother it is the symptomatic hypotension which is more important so always look at the number of blood pressure figure as well as the symptoms of hypotension having said this you keep on pushing the dose of arni but sometimes because of the egfr issue or because of the potassium or blood pressure issue you might not be able to push the dose of arni in spite of all efforts that's where be at the dose which is best tolerated by the patient that is maybe 100 mg twice a day maybe 50 mg twice a day even that dose is going to help the patient's mind well because whatever dose of arni if you can give to patients they are going to do better